Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing great. I have a 15 minute session I'm doing for a client here. The, the topic's gonna be really cool. Um, I'm, re I'm gonna read the goals and then we'll see what we can discover today, okay? All right, is it possible to release all blocks in fear regarding alien abductions without having to face or see them? I finally feel that I can allow them to help me be authentically me to do what I came here to do, but I really don't feel that I can face them. All right. I know where you're coming from. I struggled with uh, these same types of fears and it took several years, <laughs> several, 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 several years um, for me to finally come full circle with that. Um, I had to clear out a lot of old lives, um, past life. And you know, the thing about past lives, it's like there's, if you start to comprehend that there's no time, um, past, present, future, they're all kind of blended together. So where do these lives exist? Inside myself. And so um, although I had a lot of really cool alien um, friends and I had a lot of psychic interactions with alien beings, I still had this like seething, like wounded hate inside and I would ta tell him I don't know where this is coming from I don't know why I have this but I feel it I'm trying to work on it it can't seem to conquer it and it just it took time you know it took time it took experiences of having to face some of those fears psychically but I, I really came full circle actually this year in 2020 when I went and talked to um, the Arcturian beings because I, I've always had this sort of resentment and it, it's almost like for me personally um, like feeling abandoned, um, you know, tossed out. There you go. Have fun on planet Earth <laughs> while they're just watching you. It's kind of felt like that, although that's not true because we always have ego in the way of our true understanding of the bigger picture of everything. But um, continuing to be, become more open um, to support and helping you to face the fear, because the ultimate goal is you don't, you don't need to be afraid to see them in person. I am not afraid to see any alien being in person where I used to be. It's been literally like a 13 year journey of really going into this and struggling through a lot of different fears and becoming desensitized to it over time. Just to tell you a little bit about my story, but I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go in and we're gonna learn about your fears, um, see what we can do to help you, okay? Because you should totally visit with some alien beings in person. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, this is a, a tough um, introductory image. Um, I see your face and there's all these sort of like mice or small rats and they're kind of like burrowed in and there's a lot of them. How can there that be that many mice rats in your face? Well, there, there are in the energy realm <laughs> and they're kind of burrowed and coming out and going in and coming out. It's pretty disturbing, but let's just follow it through so we can make sense of what it means. Yeah, it's choking you up. Like, it's making it so you can't breathe. It's making it so you can't see. And they're kind of taking over your your face. Man, this has been going on for a long time. It's all going to make more sense here. Let's just keep letting the energies process. We're going to learn more. So the next um, thing that they're showing me is your head is kind of stuck. Um, so here's a floor and then there's your head. So I can see your head is sticking up um, at the floor here. So I could accidentally kick you. Um, and then there's all these mice rats um, crawling in and out of your face and you're stuck. You can't remove the problem. <laughs> You can't get yourself out of the f being stuck. So you're... I mean, I can't think of a, a worst case scenario for trying to set yourself free. <laughs> you can't use your hands. You can't get your head out of this. Um, the rice, the, the, the rats, mice have like co total control over whatever, wherever they want to go, whatever they want to do.
This is going to have to go a little bit deeper. It's a feeling of powerlessness as well. You're just powerless. And what you're powerless to could do anything to you. And no amount of you is going to be enough to save yourself from the experience. So you have that energy in your relationship with um, facing alien beings, actually developing a personal physical relationship with them, that a part of you feels powerless and that then the alien being, which then has the power, and you, who do not, um, can't save yourself from anything that they might have in mind for you. And it's very scary. Very scary. And it's um, painful. And it's felt. This is just the beginning of a really good journey here. Because th th there's like layers of these uh, like energy shields, okay? So for you to open up to alien beings, it's going to be kind of skewed. Um, because this energy is going to kind of manipulate the relationship. Um, so you're just going to have to keep um, exposing yourself to the most vulnerable feelings that you have. And then continuing to let them go. Eventually you're going to have to come to a place where you want to work on trust. And you got to at least open up to the idea. You're even um, quite far away from reaching that place of trust yet. So... There's a lot, um, we're kind of opening up a Pandora's box. Um, so there's a lot that you, you have interconnected to this, okay? Also, the human mind trying to understand um, what is outside of the human mind, it, um, it's not possible, <laughs> so to speak. So the mind can't process it. It simply can't process it. So the mind then shuts down and can't, because can't, it can't process it, okay? So let's say you have um, had alien experiences. Um, those alien experiences are taking place in an incomprehensible experience to the human mind. And in order for you to survive, which is ego's ballpark, okay? Ego shuts it all down, so the memories become blanked out. Because they can't be processed, they can't be conceived of. The human is so connected to what is the consistency, the routine, what I've always known, that when it comes outside, it's like a big explosion and the brain takes place, and it doesn't have any tools in order to comprehend this. So then um, it blacks it out. I'm supposed to tell you that. So what we have to do is we have to say, I don't need to understand. That's one way to approach this, okay, is just simply telling ego that we don't have to understand it. Ego is really afraid. When I talk to ego about this, you have, you have more than, it's like, um, when I said here that about time, um, past, present, future, they're all intermingling together. So your actual real experiences with alien beings are happening right now in this life. Um, and they're happening interdimensionally, okay? It also interdimensionally. I'm trying to conceive of your relationship um, to look at um, some of the aspects here, but it's sort of like 
there, I don't know where to begin is kind of the feeling. So all I can do is the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. Okay. So I'm just going to tell you that and we'll see what the next thing is. And I mean, I'm, I'm receiving a lot of information that again, it takes time. Just literally um, take what you would want to achieve in a week and then space it out over the next five years and no rush here. And whenever you feel inspired to look into this or work on this, um, then it's a calling to work on this. And, but there's going to be times where you need a break from it too. And this can go as fast or as slow as you need it to. Because you're going through kind of a therapy about this um, in order to rebuild trust and understanding and um, open up. Because to me, deep down inside of you, you miss alien beings. You miss alien memories, alien other alien, alien um, planetary lives. Um, you miss being different. You miss being something other than human. And deep down inside, you're kind of like, uh, please, I, I really miss, I really miss seeing the galaxy. I miss seeing the universe. Um, and I know that my human self um, struggles to comprehend these types of relationships. Um, but inside, I, I want these relationships. I want to interact with these beings. So what then is shielding you from the truth? Because the truth is you actually want to visit with them live in person. You actually do. So even acknowledging that is going to help you. Saying, all right, the truth is, even though I'm afraid, I do want to actually m interact with real alien beings in, in person. I want, I want to have that experience. So you actually saying that out loud is going to shift some things, especially in your solar plexus. Um, and it's going to open a door. <sighs> you, do you see how we're working our way towards trust? And you just start by being authentic with yourself. So are they helping you to be authentically yourself? Yes. By you uh, acknowledging the truth of what it is that you want is what we're talking about right now. I do want to visit with alien beings in person. I'm afraid, but I don't have to be afraid. And I'm, I'm open to receiving assistance, support, and help from alien beings. Have you said that? You may be saying it a, a roundabout way, but you actually have to say it <laughs> like you mean it. And don't let fear um, separate you from what it is that you truly want. Because what you truly want is love and connection and out of this world experiences. And you want to grow beyond just being human. You want to feel interdimensional. I mean, this is, this is really your true self. This is the authentic you. The authentic you is uh, more than just human. And that's a hunger and a starvation within yourself as well. So it's all coming back to authenticity, isn't it? Another thing is, if you, does it, it, it's like, has to do with trying to understand something that your mind can't understand. So naturally it creates fear and resistance, but that's not actually fair. Because what's taking place is incomprehensible. That doesn't mean it's, it's bad or it's harming you. It's just incomprehensible, so then it creates the fear, and then it creates the resistance, and then the ego keeps you safe. That's what ego does. All right, we're going to, we're going back to the original scene with the rats and the, your head. It's a weird scene to, to work with, but that's the one I'm being shown. So we're going to liberate you, all right? <laughs> and I'm just standing here and I'm encouraging you to 
find it's like seeing yourself as yourself it's like um, alien beings are not above you or beneath you that you can be friends and as friends there's balance and that balance then I mean you could call yourselves equals in a way I don't know that that word is like we're never the same as anybody else like I'm not I'm not the same as you and you're not the same as alien being like every single <laughs> creation is uniquely different but you can understand that there's nobody above or beneath there's um, support you teach they teach um, you're working together to grow and expand your soul's experiences okay so again we're just kind of giving the power back to you and you're finding the strength to change your circumstances and you want to change your circumstances like you're starving to change your circumstances about this so I see you pulling yourself up and out of the hole because <laughs> you can expand it now since you're changing your circumstances but you're really sweet because you don't want to hurt the mice or the rats that have been kind of living feeding off your face um, so you're gently like um, letting them setting them free it's really sweet you have no no grudge against them and this is important because now there's um what is an alien being okay um so i'm working with the frequency all right there's a very specific frequency of alien being um and now you're going to look eye to eye with this alien being you need to decide inside yourself what this alien being looks like and you need to have the strength to face it because this is the next step this is liberating you this is getting you up and out of the hole this is you um, not letting fear get in the way of what you truly want inside yourself which is to have these relationships you actually do They say, again, remember, the mind it is going to judge, it's going to fear, it isn't going to be able to understand what what these alien beings are, are manifesting or they're, they're accomplishing or whatever. It's, so it creates a block, it creates a fear in order to keep you safe from what it can't comprehend. So there has to be an element of, of just simply love. And that love then is um, like that open door and there's safety in love there's safety in you just being authentically you acknowledging what you can and can't do at this time um, and that's how you just slowly um, open up okay so you're still looking into the eye and you ask this alien being to heal you and you say please heal me please please heal me I don't want to carry the burdens anymore. Please heal me. Your third eye is getting really stressed out. The alien being, this frequency of alien being consciousness does want to help you. But fear is always going to get in the way of you receiving that help. Um, so that that's why we're gonna let go of the fear and we're gonna have a new experience in life and that experience is going to teach you and just just continue to to follow your own inner intuition here remember you're gonna have confusing alien experiences you're gonna have like not confusing really interesting bright alien experiences it's just like human beings you're gonna meet people that are not that cool people that are like way cool you know so it's just the same thing it's a learning process you know <laughs> so don't like hate alien beings if you have one difficult time you know and now they all suck <laughs> just just don't let one bad time get in the way okay um, because that's not all that's out there there's so much love out there there's so much love out there You are, you're letting go and you're allowing this alien being to heal you on the inside. And we're talking your physical body. 
I mean, it's really, we're talking your physical body. And you tell the alien being se secretly, kind of quietly, that um, to have your physical health is going to give you the ability to um, fulfill your purpose, which once you have your physical health, you're going to kind of awaken to other gifts along the way. It's like you have a message to share or a healing gift to share. There's something kind of on the, this like... Um, um, you know, it's, it's, it's evolving out of the humdrum human reality and entering into what is the expanded human um, and what you can do. I'm just going to stay with it for just, uh, just a little bit longer because we're really making amazing progress here. And you are still looking into the eyes of this uh, alien frequency consciousness. And you're feeling um, receptive now and safe in it. And it's, it's healing your chakras as well. And it's happy because it's missed you. But we're, it's a balanced love. It's not um, attached to you. And you're not attached to it. It's a balanced friendship. It's a balanced love it's a balanced um, support system okay you don't need to be attached to this one alien being um, they're not showing me what it looks like because you're supposed to fill in the blank however I can feel the energy of it I can feel the interaction I can feel the receiving of you I can feel how it's opening you up and I can feel that it is not attaching to you it is giving you the space you need to grow. It's not asking more of you than you can give. But you two are not uh, choosing to be attached either. This is really healthy because it keeps you open, keeps you completely open. All right, that's all I can share. Thank you so much. This is really cool, really cool experience. A lot of people are going to learn something and even receive. I can tell that this session is going to help you. It's going to help others. Others fill in the blank of their alien being that they need to receive that healing from. It's going to open the doors for them too. So it's really awesome that you're sharing and giving others access to this wisdom and this energy work. So thank you so much. And uh, for those watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.